In this video, we're going to learn how to create a carousel component in a Framer. Now, previously in past videos, we created a slideshow components, which are somewhat similar to the actual carousel components, but carousel components allow you to design smooth scrolling carousels that can be swiped or dragged. However, unlike the slideshow component, it doesn't loop infinitely. So this is uh, the main difference. Now let's get started and uh, let's uh, go under insert. We're going to go under interactive and uh, simply drag and drop a carousel component uh, right here. Now, as you can see, it's uh, very similar to the slideshow in the sense that uh, we have this area where we need to create a connection so we need to add uh, layers uh, or components to swipe between. In this case, uh, we have uh, these logos as an example. And uh, what we're gonna do is uh, we're simply going to click uh, and then uh, drag uh, on top of uh, these logos. And as you can see, we're going to create uh, these uh, connections uh, between uh, these uh, different items. Now at this point, uh, what you're going to notice is that uh, each and every one of these logos uh, are organized uh, within uh, the same uh, line. So what we want to do instead uh, is to have uh, one logo display each and every time uh, that we click uh, on uh, the arrow. So in order to do that, uh, we're going to leverage uh, the actual carousel component uh, section, which is right here. So if we analyze it from the top, uh, you can see that uh, we have uh, the individual logos that we added so, and uh, we can change order or even remove uh, a logo by simply utilizing this uh, dots menu and uh, after that uh, we're going to go right ahead uh, and adjust uh, the sizing so we can accomplish uh, exactly what we mentioned a moment ago and i'm going to go with uh, stretch and stretch is uh, essentially going to stretch uh, the individual carousel component uh, uh, directly to utilize all of the width. So if you go ahead and play, you can see that now I have this element, which uh, is then going to move on to the next one and the next one. And unlike uh, the slideshow, once I reach the end of the list, I'm not going to see the arrow no longer since uh, there isn't the ability to loop infinitely and the same is true also when i go to the very first element in this specific carousel so what we're going to do next is we're going to explore some even more options such as columns which are going to be quite useful so in this case i can add two columns three columns perhaps looks good even four columns so let's uh, examine this uh, variation where I have uh, these uh, four logos and then I go ahead and I see the remaining one. So you can see how this is going to be quite useful. Uh, you can add any type of component. We're using a simple logo right here, but this could be a card. This could be a testimonial card, for example, or showing uh, features or anything really. So. There's a lot that uh, you can do with uh, this type of component. You can also change the direction, you can make it vertical, uh, you can uh, change the alignment uh, right here, you can uh, increase uh, or decrease the gap, uh, the padding, which is essentially going to be the space uh, on the sides. Uh, you can easily adjust that. The sizing we were also already uh, mentioned for the very most part, you can also change the height. Uh, so if you have uh, any specific sizing that you want to arrange, uh, that is going to be uh, your menu of choice. And uh, on top of that, uh, there is uh, the snapping, which is uh, uh, essentially telling Framer, do I want this uh, to snap uh, to the edge? Do I want to keep it fluid or not? So depending on your preference on that, you can set it up. You can also uh, decide to have a scroll bar, for example. So if uh, we go back uh, and uh, I go and uh, adjust, uh, you can see how now I also have uh, this scroll bar, which uh, I can easily stylize uh, 
just uh, as I prefer or you can have uh, dots which you can then uh, stylize directly from this menu item which we already explored in uh, a lot of details uh, in uh, one of uh, the previous videos you can essentially <laughs> decide upon uh, each and every variable when it comes to the styling and you know how this is going to look like uh, so there really is a lot that uh, you can do in terms of uh, styling uh, these uh, these elements and uh, the one of the very last uh, options is going to be the arrows you can change the arrows which again in one of the previous videos uh, we, sh we shared uh, uh, how you can easily adjust these arrows you can add them you can even remove them and just perhaps keep the dots uh, if uh, that's your thing or even uh, have uh, the progress bar <coughs> and uh, basically have complete uh, control over pretty much everything and uh, yeah overall uh, this is uh, uh, these are all things that you can easily adjust the area label is going to be <laughs> just what uh, is uh, mentioned uh, as a label and uh, you can also adjust uh, the radius overall of this entire section so if you apply a background you're going to see the corner radius uh, on uh, the sides so this is pretty much it uh, when it comes to carousels uh, in Framer and uh, now I invite you to go ahead uh, and experiment uh, with uh, this uh, component in order to make this uh, learning uh, <clears throat> practical so that you can master each and every area of framer.